talking about our hometown hero. It's 10.06, and our zip trip to North Beach continues this morning. Each week, we like to take some time to honor heroes that are really doing good work in their local communities. And this morning, we're putting the spotlight on our medical professionals. These days, they are the real heroes, right? Meredith Moody is the pharmaceutical clinical coordinator at Calvert Health Medical Center and... Karen O'Connor is a registered uh, nurse in the intensive care unit. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Good morning. And uh, be, be, before, I just want to also say we're going to welcome in our friend from Lafayette Federal Credit Union in just a moment. But I do want to speak with both of you um, women this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And Meredith, let me start with you. As um, the person that oversees the, uh, the, the pharmacy, the clinical coordinator there, I know that you had a big role in some important work when it came to trying to really get some treatment for coronavirus. Can you tell us about it? Sure, yeah, thanks so much for letting us come on and chat a little bit. We have a great pharmacy team here at the hospital and along with our director of pharmacy, we realized early on that there was a lot of work to be done to make sure that we had what we needed for our patients. Um, we actually had a team that met weekly and continues to, that includes our medical leadership, um, Karen and her team from the ICU, nursing lab and pharmacy that met every week to say, what do we need to do? Are we doing the right thing for our patients? Looking at the new data that came out every week. And one of the things that came out early was some of those investigational medications like remdesivir. And we knew early on that we needed to make sure we had it for our patients. So we spent a lot of time working with our intensive care providers like Karen and others to make sure that we were able to get it for our patients. So we enrolled in the clinical trial. And now thankfully, we're able to get some of that medication from the state and continue to treat our patients with it. And uh, Karen, let's just talk about um, work in the intensive care unit, you know, especially uh, right at the height of this pandemic, the, the sadness and the stories that would come out of the ICU, patients there alone, um, not being able to be in touch or see their families. Uh, you've, I'm sure, seen it all. Can you just tell us about your experience? Yes, at the height of COVID-19 in Maryland, but also um, what you continue to uh, work on today. The, it was all about being a team here at Calvert. Um, although the other units weren't as busy as the intensive care unit, they were able to come into the ICU, perfect skills that were meant to be perfected over six months. They did in a very short period of time. It was very difficult for these families that could not visit their loved ones who were dying and they were suffering. And it's a very difficult disease. And the team stepped up and allowed these extra team members from the Calvert Health to come in and help those patients just to be with them and not allow them to be alone in this time. And we certainly made an effort to call those families every day throughout the day and update them on how their loved one was doing. It was very difficult for the staff and as well as for the families. Well, both of you um, women are for the, our hometown heroes for all of the beautiful and hard work that you do to help all of us. Before we let you go, though, I do want to uh, bring in, like I said, our friend Henry Molina. Henry is from Lafayette Federal Credit Union, and you have a special greeting for our hometown heroes. Good morning. I sure. I sh good morning. I sure do. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, so on behalf of Lafayette Federal Credit Union, I want to congratulate Meredith, Miss Meredith, and also Miss Karen um, for being recognized as our hometown hero, not just for this week, but especially throughout this global pandemic. Um, your dedication to the health and safety of the community, even um, at your own expense and that of your families, is a true testament of your commitment towards providing medical care, especially to the most vulnerable. So to help celebrate um, our 85th anniversary, we're gonna send each of you a gift card, a gift bag as a token of our appreciation. And it's truly an honor to meet both of you today. And on behalf of Lafayette, we just wanna congratulate you for being the hometown heroes for this week. And I was actually a hero for your career. So thank you so much for your dedication to helping the community and the most vulnerable. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Uh, we hope it goes just a little way to uh, help show our appreciation for the work that you do and continue to do. Thank you for joining us. I know you're probably both really anxious to get back to work uh, reading about you, so I'll let you go. Thank you, and uh, we hope to see you in person soon. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, Allison. Thanks.
<laughs> okay. So deserving. And we thank you as well.